the black the black truck waiting for me come out my apartment building there's a license plate let me see if i can uh get the license plate for you guys for you guys to see i saw them there i saw them. you looking right at into the building again giving uh you know giving the intel that i was leaving so you sit on there waiting waiting oh yeah buddy i see you there you go license plate lp oh well, you know can't all right yeah 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 i'll get you next time <laughs> they will always use the same individual at times right yeah all right anyhow um So how do I know, right? Because they'll always use black pickup trucks. All right? I talk about this all the time, all right? Well, not really all the time, but when they do use uh, trucks, I know, like the pickup trucks, all right? So yeah. And again, they do these things for a reason, all right? It is to cause you to, again, exhibit the fight or flight phenomena also to let you know that again you're being surveilled you're being watched you are being stalked so this is why it's important for TIs that you know the laws on stalking the laws on psychological harassment right uh, the laws on particularly conspiracy against rights because this is what they do this is what they engage in and how they, you know, get in the community, you know, people within the community to engage in such behavior, criminal behavior against you. And that's how they get away with it, right? Because when you go to complain or file a report, they'll say, well, you know, everybody in your community is doing this, you might need professional help, right? Remember, <laughs> these, these people are being radicalized and they don't quite understand why they're being radicalized or how they're being radicalized, but, you know, they just do, right? It's, it's a conditioning. It's a conditioning phase, a conditioning method. They try to control you. They try to silence you while they engage in uh, illegal, or had engaged in illegal non-consensual experimentation and continue to do so, also illegally microchipping you so they can monitor you, monitor your thoughts, so they can get away with these things, right? So they gotta villainize you. Like I said, they gotta they gotta run a villainization campaign. And how do they do that? Yeah, number like uh, one one three three two nine over there, right? So they gotta run a. This is what they got. This is what they do. You won't even know it. You won't even know it. You, you just like I said. I don't. You know. Go again. Proving these things. Proving that you can be. People can be, but well, we know people can be brainwashed. There's no, there's no doubt about it. So that's already proven. But in your circumstance as a TI, you have to prove what you say has been done to you. And you have to understand what it is that they've done to you prior to them engaging in overtly attacking you because they have already, you are already put into a non-consensual human experimentation program. You are already microchipped. Okay, and now what they do again is to manipulate you through what? Through covert action, covert psychological warfare, and covert warfare, right? Again, it's always involved, okay? Always involved, right? Illegal drugging, a covert drugging, I should say, right? Uh, financial sabotage. All right, damaging your property. So it could be breaking into your apartment, not taking anything, breaking into your car, not taking anything, or cars, not breaking anything, um, engaging in sending honey traps your way. All right, because there are people who are dedicated religious fanatics who will do these things. Whether they're being paid or whether they've been given some mission 
right, by those in the authoritative position or their pastors or their cult leader, telling them that they're doing God's work and they're a soldier for God. Okay, so these things are not new. And this is why you say you, gotta, you have to be able to fight back. And how you do it is through learning what's happening to you, right? Paying attention to your own thought patterns. Looking at the, look, you, 932529. See that? See that? No, again, the number 32 again. All right, and that's it. And that vehicle is a new vehicle too, because he has temporary place. Or uh, maybe a new used vehicle. Right? Yeah, these people, they're, they're, they're fanatics. They are fanatical. And so you got to understand their mindset. So they have no problem hurting you or doing things to you. As you know, I was reading the, um, the brainwashing manual, right? Chapter six, right? That they will do, they will hurt you in every, in any single way. Okay? So you got to understand that mindset. And again, when they condition you, what they're conditioning, not you per se, but when they're conditioning the fanatics, right? They create a highly narcissistic personality, right? Uh, NPD, Narcissistic Personality Disorder. That's what they, they create. And they do it within family members, particularly those who are religious, okay? So again, you must understand why your family member would do this to you, particularly if you don't, if you subscribe out of, if you left, leave your religion, All right? So what we know when you're uh, deconstructing your belief system, right? When you're no longer following the religious fanatics, look, fuck up the ambulance, look, look, sticking his finger in his ears. Yeah, I see you, buddy. Don't turn around. See you turn around. Yeah, walk away now. Walk away. Walk away. Walk away. Walk away, you better leave. <laughs> you better leave. Look, look, look. You better leave. See? They're very um very bold. Uh, look, look, he's gonna leave now. Now that I now that I um where is he at? Where'd he go? Oh don't, don't try to oh, you see he's trying to do the whole delay thing. He's trying to hold do the whole delay thing. Anyhow. But yeah, the vast majority of people in Western society have narcissistic personality disorder. And again, it is not their fault, right? Oh, see the other one across the street? Now the other one comes out. <laughs> look, look, look. So what lady happened to have using these big fat guys, black guys, let's <laughs> just say nigger peons? No, look, look at him now, look, look, look. <laughs> oh, you waiting, you waiting at the bus stop or you taking the bus? Hold up now, let's 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 look at this now. You taking a bus, bro? Look, look at the cover. Look, he goes behind the car. Looking at the license plate. Look at him over there. Look at him over there. Pinching his nose. I'm pinching my nose back at him. <laughs> look at him. Look at him. Anyhow, I want you to understand. The infiltration. I talk about these religious cults, these fanatical uh, people with these destructive cult mindset, destructive fanatical cult mindset. This is this is what they do. This is the type of shit they engage in, right? And you guys can see it right now. I'm gonna, as I explain this straight to you, right? Understand what it is that they're doing. Is that, is that a select us? Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. You know how to make video tacos? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Love being able to pursue comms is going to be a big one. Okay, and I know they're afraid of that. Why? Because those in alternative position who engage in this sort of behavior, the dark triad personality types, one thing they don't want is accountability or to be exposed what it is that they're doing right it is in their interest 
to silence the targets, the victims, right? As they engage in the sort of behavior that they engage in, okay? You gotta understand that, you gotta know this. All right, talk to you guys in the next video. Woo.